and crime. The pair facing murder charges accused of killing and dismembering their friend more than a year ago. The teen victim was reported missing from Ray Township and was later found dead. Local force Nick Monticelli has the story. Good morning. Both Yvette McDonald and Andrew Fiaco are due back in court this morning for what's called a preliminary exam. It's an opportunity for all parties to review all the evidence. And in this case, there is an overwhelming amount of evidence. The last time Andrew Fiaco and his girlfriend Yvette McDonald were in court, disturbing details emerged as they're both accused of dismembering Stephen McAfee's body. In March of 2016, McAfee went missing from his Macomb Township home. Detective searched, followed up on tips, posters were sent up, even a private investigator was hired. But the case went cold. Over one year later, in April of 2017, a female walked into the sheriff's department, revealing that McDonald allegedly confided in her that she helped dispose of Stephen's body, hiding it in shallow graves, one behind the Fiaco family home. Other remains were left at the scene of the murder at 34 Mile and Van Dyke. Fiaco told investigators he shot McAfee when McAfee allegedly attacked him. Despite that, both are facing serious, serious charges. Fiaco's list includes first degree murder and mutilation of a dead body. McDonald is not charged with McAfee's murder, but is charged with accessory after the fact and mutilation of a dead body. Because of all that, during an arraignment, the prosecutor argued for Fiaco not to be released on bond. You're talking about a young man who was shot multiple times, twice in the back, left in this abandoned field, dead, to decompose, at which point they showed up a month later and they dismember and mutilate the body. To this day, the sheriff and prosecutors say both teens are changing their stories and they have no clear motive. And as you heard, there is a lot of evidence to go through. In fact, so much so that this preliminary exam is scheduled for two days. In the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.